and finally just like for the vector class that we have created we need to calculate the cross and dot product of the segment and it has slight differences but the principles are actually the same that the cross product is used to calculate the so-called normal of the line which is the perpendicular line compared to the actual line and so for segments in particular instead of naming this function cross product we'll call it more appropriately normal when you have a line in order to make it normal all you have to do is switch its x and y coordinates of two ending points so let's create our normal by first switching around the x and y coordinates in order to do that we have to create a new set of coordinates notice that the new variable x will actually equal y and that's because what we're doing here is we're reversing x and y intentionally and the y will equal x plus the vector x because we need to calculate the ending point of the line and not just the first one we do the same for the second set of variables that will be determining the ending point this is the shortcut for calculating the normal without using trigonometry but we still need to return it and we'll return a new segment which is the same type of object and we want to return the ending point but remember that the segment object is created using the origin and then the vector not the ending point itself and in order to calculate that we need to subtract first ending point from the other and this will return the normal for the line let's go ahead and test that in canvas so I'm going back to canvas and first let's create a new segment let's add some random positioning here I'll save this and refresh my browser so we have a line here that we have just determined by using these coordinates let's use the normal function that we have just created let's create a variable called n and use the segment normal function once we got the normal we we'll want to draw this in the same way using the same function just a different color to make sure that we know which one is which I'll save this and refresh as you can see the normal is a complete perpendicular to the line no matter which angle the line is facing this perpendicular line that was just created by our normal function is usually displayed at the center of the line or at one of its ending points and in order to place this normal at the center of the blue line we need two additional functions and we'll have to add these two functions to the source code so let's go to our segment.js file and continue writing the segment library but before we do anything else there's one principle that I need to explain and I have to do it at this point in this tutorial because so many things we're going to do in the future are tied to this concept when we do all kinds of vector operations for example addition or subtraction of the vectors or even finding out the normal it's always better to think of the result as a vector 
centered around the coordinate system. Let's say that our coordinate system has a center here. And also, let's say we have this rotated normal that we have just calculated using one of our library functions. So when we're calculating results for operations such as these, it's always best to take the results and center it around the coordinate system. This allows us to perform operations between other vectors that are also centered around the zero point. For example, this green vector could have been added to this resulting normal. And simply adding this vector to the original normal, by doing something like this, we would actually lose the point of reference because this blue line can be rotated and appear anywhere in the coordinate system. So really, we would always have to calculate this origin point. But whenever the vector is centered around zero, it's always so much easier to perform operations on two given vectors. The good news is that the result of such an operation is exactly the same, whether it's translated to the zero or to its original point. So by translating vectors to the origin of coordinate system, we're not really losing the actual result of the calculation between two vectors. In order to translate any vector to the coordinate system origin point, all we have to do is subtract its point B from its point A. And as far as our segment library goes, we already have this done, because remember, when we specify a segment, we specify its origin, and then independently of that, we specify vector x and vector y parameters. When taken separately, these vector parameters can be treated as centered around coordinate system. And that was the whole purpose of specifying these parameters in this way, rather than having two ending points of the line, which would make our segment library much more complicated than it really needs to be. It's a small detail, but it helps us save so much time and and lines of code in the long run. So to fully transfer this red normal to the center point of the blue line, we need to have some kind of a function that determines where the center of the line is. Because this is a segment, we need to calculate the center on both axes. In order to do that for x, we need to take the x position of this line and add its length. And we'll do the same for y coordinate. After that, we need to take the result and divided by 2 on both axes. Well, this is because the center point of a line is exactly in the middle. The center of a line is simply a point, so what we need to do here, remember the point class that we have created only contains x and y. And so we can create a new point based on these coordinates that we have just created and return it from this function. And now in our game loop, I can actually draw some points. Let's take the blue line and find out what its center is. Blue center equals, the blue line was called segment. And so we'll get the center. And then we'll draw the center with, let's say, 5 radius. And let's make it blue, just like the line. I'll save this, and I'll save the segment library, and refresh the browser. And as you can see, we have a center here. 
uh, and that's what we're actually trying to do. We're trying to transfer the line to the center of the blue line. But meanwhile, let's also find out what the center is of the red line. Now, this is not segment anymore. We need to use the N because that was the line in red. And we need to get its center, which is the function that we, of course, just wrote. And again, 5, and this time I'll use the red color. I'll save this and refresh the browser. And here we have center of the red line calculated. And so before we move forward from this point on, I need to explain another principle. That principle is unit vectors, but I'll actually explain that in my next tutorial. I think this one is already getting too long, and I like splitting different subjects into separate tutorials. You can download the source code for this tutorial by clicking within the box that you see on the screen. And once again, we've come to the ending of another tutorial, and you can support this channel, which will usually result in me writing more tutorials. So I posted these links that you're seeing on the screen that you can use to support my work, and I will see you in my next tutorial.